Depression is a very serious clinical problem. Work has been going on for many years to discover better treatments for depression. Most depression treatments, medicine I'm talking about, take weeks to months to work like Prozac and Paxil. And so that's been a problem in that they, there's a delay and they also don't work in everybody. So my research team has been working for many years to discover better treatments, better medicine treatments for depression. And we have recently found that ketamine is a rapidly acting antidepressant. Now some people know ketamine as a recreational drug of abuse called Special K, but we have found that it has potential for the treatment of depression that has not responded to traditional antidepressant treatments and that it works faster, that it can work within uh, several hours. So we're working on it. It's uh, not yet approved, so it's now at the level of research, but it's now been found at, by research groups all over the world that ketamine works quickly and that the response can at least be maintained for several weeks. So now we're working on how to maintain the response for much longer than that and to test out its safety for long-term treatment. But at a minimum, it's broken new ground because ketamine works differently than other antidepressants. And we now know that there are methods to get people better from serious forms of depression very quickly. One reason that scientists say that the ketamine findings are a major advance in the treatment of depression is that ketamine works very differently than other antidepressants. The antidepressants that are now generally available work through monoamines, neurotransmitters, like serotonin and norepinephrine. That's how Prozac and Paxil and Zoloft, for example, work. They, they block the reuptake of the neurotransmitter serotonin. Ketamine does not work through that mechanism. Ketamine works through another neurotransmitter system called the glutamate system. And initially its effects are modulated by blocking the NMDA glutamate receptor. So we know that's part of the way uh, that ketamine works, but researchers now in labs around the world are probing more deeply about how ketamine can start by working through the glutamate system and then cause other changes in brain function that result in that antidepressant response. So that, that is work that is now occurring. But we do know it as a minimum that it works very differently than the available antidepressants. As I mentioned, ket ketamine is a recreational drug of abuse and we have to be concerned about that in any development of ketamine that leads to formal approval by the FTA and ultimately becomes generally available for the treatment of depression. So the clinical studies that are now being undertaken uh, by a major pharmaceutical company is studying intra you know, intranasal forms of uh, ketamine and they will watch for any signs of abuse uh, by patients. Uh, probably the way ketamine will be distributed will be on a dose-by-dose -dose, uh, basis, and that for patients that have a history of substance abuse, it may not be the appropriate drug uh, you know, to use. But I personally feel uh, that ketamine is well tolerated in the dose that we use for the treatment of depression, and that if longer-term studies show that it's safe and that it's not abused, it could really revolutionize uh, the treatment of depression for patients who have serious depression that is treatment resistant to the available treatments. So it'll be used for a very certain group of people who are really suffering.